Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to Tanner Does Tech with Tech Swag and Life. Just ain't the motto, it's pretty much the way things are done around here. So you guys know what time it is. Let's get that intro poppin'. Let's go! Chosen. What's good everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? Now this is a different episode of Tanner Does Tech. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I had to approach this because a lot of people do this. What a lot of people do is they use the hotspot of their cell devices or the smartphones or whatever to run the ecosystem of their home. The Wi-Fi ecosystem that is. I'm talking about computers, other phones, TVs and everything. And I come to make a video and tell you guys why you shouldn't do that and if you decide to do that, how you should do it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you put a lot of stress and wear and tear on a processor of your phone. So honestly, people, you be killing your device. You know what I mean? Because this is how initially the whole Wi-Fi setup is supposed to work. Let me show you. Now at the top, you see the Wi-Fi symbol, right? That represents your router. Everything else is secondary, including your laptop, <laughs> your smartphone, your tablet, and external hard drive. You know what I'm saying? Everything is supposed to work off that, like that. But what a lot of people do is this right here. They say, the hell with that. My phone has a hotspot built in, and I got unlimited data, so I'm going to run the unlimited data off my smartphone. Yeah, it sounds good when it comes to saving money and everything, and you're like, well, hell, I'm paying this and that and the other for the service and I paid this, that, and the other for the smartphone and everything, but what you gotta realize is that this wasn't designed to run all that. No, as you saw on the diagram right there, this is a secondary device, you know what I'm saying? A subsidiary, yes indeed. It's not made, it's not made to run all that stuff. Let me show you another picture why. Let me show you my router and my, smart, my mobile devices. People, size matters. Look at my router in the background, Baxfinity. That is a huge router, meaning there's a big motherboard in there and a whole bunch of stuff that you can't possibly fit into the small form factor of the iPhone to the left or the Galaxy S8 Plus to the right. It's impossible. It's a, it's a reason why they, they made the damn thing that big because it's gonna be running mobile. I mean, not mobile. It's gonna be running multiple devices at one time seamlessly. No doubt about it, no doubt about it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Size does matter, people. Yes, it does. So what I mean by that is, oh, as a matter of fact, for instance, for those who are doing this, have you noticed that your phone gets really, really, really hot when you run like two or three damn devices? I'm talking about two TVs, a computer, or whatever the hell you run on that, that your, your mobile device gets really hot and everything? But the, and then the battery just goes crazy. It, it just goes all the way down damn near. And what do you have to do? You got to plug it in, which, which keeps it more hotter. Then in a lot of cases, your phone gets so hot, it says, hey, the hell with that. I'm cutting off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or it starts acting real buggy, right? Or, or this scenario too. Or you do that and you notice that, but you're not tripping about the heat on your phone or whatever. So you say, well, hell, I'm still going to use my phone like it is, this, that, and the third but your phone starts to get more laggy, more like a days ago, and starts cutting off sometimes by itself and start doing all kind of crazy stuff or whatever. You notice that? Yeah, you might be saving a little money here and there, but in a couple of months or so, you're gonna have to replace that device. Because why? You're killing the processor. Yes, you're putting all that stress on your processor, people. And these beautiful devices were made for that. What you could do, though, is that if you want to go ahead and save some money, one, I mean, not one, run one device at a time on it. So if you're watching your smart TV or whatever, just run that off this. You know what I'm saying? You, don't, you can't run three or four or five devices on here and expect this damn phone to last for years to come. It's not going to work. And especially if you got a lower tier device, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that costs like 100 bucks or something, you know, the processes on them phones are crappy. So that's even worse. That's why I heard a lot of cases where people go here to say, well, hell, my phone clunked out after two months of usage. Yeah, what was you doing? You was trying to run half the damn city off your damn cell phone. And that cell phone 
ain't, ain't designed to run like that. Not at all. If you need a refresher, let me show you how it's supposed to be ran. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be ran like this. This is the ideal thing. At the top, the Wi-Fi symbol. That's your router. You know what I'm saying? Secondary devices, computer, smartphone, tablet, and your damn hard drive, external hard drive. It's just that simple, people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might get offended by this, but hell, I'm trying to save you money too. Because let's say your device does clunk out. You got to go ahead and replace it after a couple of months. Then a couple of months after that, everything is okay for another couple of months. Then you got to replace the damn phone again. You're spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on, on smartphones. And what's your main complaint? Man, these smartphones nowadays ain't nothing. But look here. I'm telling you why it's clunking out, especially when you're running your, <laughs> running your home, your whole home's ecosystem off your hotspot. And your hotspot ain't designed to do that, player. No, no, sir, no, sir. One device at a time. That's enough stress on your damn processor to keep everything flowing smoothly in your damn device. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, all right, everybody, if you learned something from this episode and everything, hey, please give your boy a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? I'll appreciate that. No doubt. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, do that too, because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody, get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy. And oh, yeah, oh, yeah, people. I got a Facebook group, I mean, a Facebook group too, called Tech Swag and Life. Hashtag Tech Swag and Life. Join me there. Just go to facebook.com backslash Tech Swag and Life. Well, hell, it don't matter what device you run, anything. It's a beautiful, beautiful atmosphere there. People get along with you. You post funny stuff and all that, G. So I'll see you there. Be easy. Yes, sir.